What up, YouTube? It's Kiki Ko, and I'm back at it with another video. If you're new to my channel, hey, boo! For today's video, we have some tea. I'm gonna give you guys a little story time on the time that I got caught sneaking out when I was only 14 years old. You see, I was wilding, okay? I was wilding, okay? I was out here, I was out and about, and I had a very, well, I have a very strict mother. My mom always been strict and overprotective. If you know, you know. Um, and my mom is not one of those that she'll beat my ass at home. No, my mom will beat my ass there and then. Like, she don't care. She's not one of those that will be like, wait till we get home. No. She doing what she gotta do right there. She gonna tell me what she gotta say right there. Like, my mom gives no type of Fs. Period. That's all I can say. So if you are new to this channel, this is a channel where we spill all the tea all the story times and anything that's worth talking about going on in the world is being talked about right on this channel and i spill all the tea i do my makeup so if you enjoy makeup and or tea subscribe to the channel for more videos i used to sneak out of my house um on the regular i would sneak out to go to IHOP and stuff like that with my friends like I was never the type of girl to sneak out like to go link a boy I just felt like boys would not be worth me getting in trouble for because I knew the consequences if my mother was to find out that I had sneaked out the house I knew exactly what was gonna happen for the most part and I just felt like me sneaking out to see a boy was not worth the asshole every time i would sneak out i would sneak out during the weekdays because those were the days that my mom worked and if she was to notice that i wasn't in the house she would have called me and i would have made up a lie like oh i got an interview or oh i'm doing something something like like an appointment something like that you know stuff that you gotta do like in the morning and she would have believed that and it would have been all good regardless she would have been at work so what could she do even if she thought i was lying so i was smart about it i would only sneak out in the weekdays if it wasn't a weekend girl i can't go i can't go baby i'm gonna have to miss out on this one <laughs> you feel me so i was very smart about it and i never got caught every time i would come home at whatever time i want the next day i would come home i would sneak out like at 3 a.m 3 to 4 a.m when my mom was completely asleep because my mom takes a long time to fall asleep so i would literally sit there and have to wait until she knocked out for me to like get ready and stuff so it was like a whole process so this day it was a beautiful summer night it was july and me and my mom had gotten into an argument as per usual we always getting into arguments me and my mother have a on and off relationship um but back then it was like super super toxic like oh my god so toxic but i was a rebel like i, I was a re rebel i said rebel like no not the motorcycles but like a rebel like is it is it rebel or rebel? Okay, whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Moral of the story is that she would tell me that she wouldn't want me outside so much. Blah, blah, blah. But me, I was born to be outside. I'm an outside person. I, I don't like being inside. I like to be outside. I like fresh air. I don't like being closed in. I feel like I'm in prison when I'm home. Okay, sometimes I stay home to watch scary movies. But like, that's beyond the case. While we was arguing, I was telling her how... I was gonna leave the house i didn't say that i was gonna leave um the, that night i wasn't like oh i'm gonna leave later i didn't say that so in the heat of the moment after we finished arguing i hit up my friends that i used to like sneak out let's call it my sneaking out friends so i hit up my sneaking out friends and i was like oh let's do something later uh -uh. and they're like oh what's up with it so at first they didn't have plans so i was like whatever like i started watching vampire diaries and eventually like i got over the whole situation and <laughs> vampire diaries is so good that took my mind completely off of what happened with me and my mother that night i swear to god like i was like so into my vampire diaries it was like 2 30 in the morning and i was watching stefan fall in love with a girl that's in love with her brother and it was just so oh my god god like she got it like elena that got it like that so you know 
I was watching, I was like, we watching my show. Boy, like, I didn't care to go anymore. Like, I thought the plans was just gonna be canceled. And, you know, we wasn't gonna go anywhere. But, right when I was getting in tune with the Vampire Diaries, right when I was getting in tune, I was about to go to sleep at this point. I'm talking about, like, it was about to be the time that I was gonna shove my laptop and take my ass to sleep so at that time was the time that my sneaking now friends wanted to hit me up talking about that they found plans for us so they told me the plan was to like go to one of their booths um block or whatever to chill with them so you know at this point um i was over the situation with my mother um to remember what i said about sneaking out to link boys three i just had like this weird feeling about my mom finding out i just had like a weird feeling that told me like don't go so basically i was telling her like oh um i don't know if i want to go anymore like um i'd rather just stay home low-key blah 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 and then she's like damn like i had already told them it was going and I'm like, damn, like, I did, like, make the whole plan myself. I was, it was me that, like, hit them up and stuff, you know? Like, to, trying to take them out their house. So it's like, you know? Um, that doesn't mean that I had to go, though. I know that. Like, I know I still could have stayed home and they could have gone themselves. But it's like, I don't know. I'm just, like, a girl of my word. And it's not that I didn't want to go anymore. It was just that, like, I really had a bad feeling like something bad was gonna happen and that was the only reason so I still ended up going so whatever I go I get ready whatever um we link up with the boys in their block or whatever and we're outside and you know it's like very very boring like these boys are so boring I'm talking about yo they're so and all of a sudden I get this call as soon as i get a call i'm like wait time out because nobody i'm talking about nobody none of my friends used to call me like i swear to god like i was the type of girl that like i never used to get calls nobody used to call me <laughs> so i'm like yo the only person that calls me is my mother so if i'm getting a phone call it's my mother so i'm here telling my friends that yo my mom is calling me uh uh and i'm like yo what, what do i do what i do so i was just like yo you know what i'm gonna pick up and i'm gonna tell her that the reason that i left was because of her and what can she do about it now i picked up because she kept calling kept calling she was blowing up my phone i mean of course i was like 14 outside at 4 a.m literally um and god knows where so she picks up and she's like oh my god where are you like um she was not like screaming at me like how she would on the regular i was so surprised at her reaction like she was just like so like worried like this time she wasn't dragging it this time she was genuinely worried about where the hell i was i'm that's surprising because my mom it's, it's not about her being worried it's about me being outside that's what she cared about um but this time she was really worried i could tell like i was like oh my god so she was like crying on the phone and stuff and i'm like telling her like oh this is your fault that's why i left like pretending that like the only reason i sneaked that was because of her but reality i be sneaking out all the time <laughs> but i'm like yo this is your fault this is why i left uh-uh whatever and she's like oh please just come home just come home whatever and i'm like nope I already left my house. I'm very far. I'm in the Bronx. I was, yeah, I was in the Bronx. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm like, I'm in the Bronx. I'm not leaving now. Like I'm already, I'm already here. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. Like I'm not going home. See you later. It's too late for me to go home by myself. I told that I was in one of my friends' house. I didn't say like exactly like who because I didn't want her to like go up to them when she's seen them because my, my mom is that type of person. <laughs> she she would she will go up to them. And basically I just couldn't go home because my friends couldn't go home and we was gonna split the cab. I was 14 at the time, so I was broke. Um we was splitting the cab, so if they couldn't go home, I couldn't go home. They couldn't go home because if they was to go home and open the door at that time and somebody was to wake up 
they would know that they sneak out and it would have been like a whole big deal so like i'm like my mom at least my mom already knows so like i'm not gonna put them in trouble for me you know so yeah basically i was like explaining to my mom that i'm not gonna go home blah 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 just trying to be petty or whatever so eventually since she knew that i was in one of my girlfriend's house um she like literally just left me alone so basically like time passed it hit 5 a.m it hit 6 a.m and you know we was changing locations or whatever and i'm not even gonna lie we was really chilling like we was there watching spongebob and stuff so keep in mind that it was a weekday and my mom had to work in the morning so she was supposed to leave like at what seven six whatever whatever time she used to leave um i don't really remember but just keep in mind that she was supposed to go to work so whatever i am on my way home now i'm walking to my house and guess who i see in the corner <laughs> my mother i'm like i said wow like yo she really like she's really out here i'm like yo i'm about to get my ass beat in public um but i was ready because it was so early that nobody was even outside so it didn't really matter i was just like let me prepare myself let me prepare myself to run. Let me see what way I'm gonna go. Like, I'm gonna go. She's here, so I'm gonna like swerve through the cars and just zoom upstairs type of vibes. So I'm like doing that. And why inside of my building? As I'm running inside of my building, the cops literally. I said the cops. Yes, I did say the cops. The cops literally pushed me back. Like, where are you going? Where are you going? Yes, shorty called the cops on me because of this. I'm like, yo, are you supposed to be at work? And she said, hell no, I'm not going to work with my daughter in the streets at 4 a.m. In Spanish, though, like. She was like, como yo me voy a trabajar cuando mi hija en la calle a las 4 de la mañana. Coño, Dios mío, lo que tú me vas a pasar. She was there making a halt. Yo, I swear, she should be in a uh, novela because she's so dramatic. Like, she will sit there and cry. But it'll be a fake cry. She'll make the face. Oh. But there will be no tears coming down. That's literally my mother right there. Like, what the hell is that? What is that? I've never seen somebody do that. Like, girl, if you're going to cry, you better like where the tears at like there was no tears that shit blew minds and basically they like they didn't really say anything to me they was just like oh just listen to your mom you're still young blah 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 so basically after that she actually did not be my ass so at the end of the day it was still a successful night <laughs> no not really because i got caught and like after that i couldn't ever do it again because actually i'm lying i did do it again <laughs> But I did wait like a year <laughs> So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching Please make sure to like comment and share and if you enjoyed this video hit that bell notification button so you won't miss another one